Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino page scaffold. And a Cupertino page scaffold, you know what the regular scaffold is. Cupertino is just formatted in more of an iOS style. So you actually have to get rid of your existing scaffold. I recommend that you create a backup of your file, even in your project. In general, it's good to have backup. So just in case you need anything, you're going to put Cupertino page scaffold, put a semicolon at the end. And now inside of here, you want to do navigation bar and you want to do Cupertino navigation bar. In here, there are a few properties that we need. So we're going to have trailing for this. We are going to have now Cupertino. Watch this. We're going to have a Cupertino button. In here, we could have a child and say text. And I'm going to say save for example and it's not saving anything but this is sort of creating the format of navigation bar and then we can have a child and what you want to do is save area and i'll explain that in a second and inside of here you'll do your regular sort of child container or your column and in there we can do a child of text so if i say like i need to run it in our simulator, this is on it. Right, let's just close that down. So it's just going to launch this up. So this is building the APK, it's actually built it, it's installing the APK on our device now. So as you can see, we've got hello, we've got this save button. Yeah, we can make it do something if we want to, but we've got the bar right there. We could actually get rid of the trailing if we wanted to, so we can get rid of that, save that, and see the button disappears. Watch what happens if I get rid of the safe area. As you can see, you might be able to see it's just behind so you need to implement that so everything is in line properly. I'll leave the safe button there for now. If you want to add some color to it, we can do background color and let's do colors. Got red. Nope. Sorry, that's the actual page scaffold. I was meant to add it to the navigation bar for the background color. So save that now. I'm just finding issues with it. Oh, there's too many commas. As you can see, that is red, but also the top is a slightly darker red as you would get in, you know, in iOS. So, and obviously here you can add whatever you want. You can style it however you want. That is totally up to you. But apart from that, that's really all there is to a Cupertino page scaffold. And if we remove that, you get your empty Cupertino page scaffold. You can implement that as you know, a button if you want to. Again, if for the trailing, you can do on press, padding, that sort of stuff, change the color. You can also add padding for the navigation bar. You can do some leading, some middles, so you can add some properties there as well. And that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.